This is the setup for testing the Vibe 50 tail rotor assembly for Chinese weight forces. We have a 3 horsepower variable speed router where I have an adapter that I made for running torque tube style tails. Right here we are just setting zero pitch by putting the blades together and coming in and setting our scale. We've calibrated the scale using a digital angle gauge and this is the force gauge that we'll use to measure the pushrod forces. This is the digital angle gauge head that is clamped to the blade and that's how we calibrate our scale for degrees. You can see here we've got our 30 degrees and we've obviously calibrated the scale through the rest of the positions both directions. Here's our baseline static drag of the linkage system with nothing running just to see where what how much drag is there got one max on that side 1.5 max on this side looks like that's very respectable you notice the blades are on here backwards from the normal direction of rotation that's just because of the direction that the router has to run and the uh, tail gearing um, I have to put them on backwards it will not affect the tennis racket forces at all, but just so people are aware of the why uh, they're on here backwards. This uh, setup with the um, bolts, the eight, excuse me, four bolts per grip that hold the grip together, um, I would anticipate that this is going to have extremely high pushrod forces because um, those bolts are in the orientation that would give us uh, extra tennis racket forces beyond just the grip arm and the uh, grip uh, ball and what the blades contribute so I anticipate seeing high forces here. Play Vibe 50 with KB Dream Design 84.5 millimeter blades running at 9400 RPM which equates to 2000 RPM head speed and we're going to we're using the stock blade nut and bolt so this is our baseline push rod force that we're starting from Okay, you can see we had uh, 25 uh, degrees, 25 ounces of force in the one direction, and like 31 ounces of force in the other at 20 degrees both directions. So we will now put some Chinese weights on there and see what we can do. 550 tail, 84.5 millimeter KB Dream Design blades, Chinese weights tuned for these blades, 9400 RPM. Everything's identical to the test with the stock bolts, just the Chinese weights added. Okay, so on that test, as uh, we went to the compression side, it stayed compression as we backed up for most of the direction, the travel, and on the tension side, same thing, it stayed in tension even as we backed up towards zero, uh, which is what we're after. Um, this also is a very precise tail, so we're not uh, quite as worried as much about uh, backlash and flutter. This is a very, very uh, tight tail. It has very, almost no play whatsoever in it, so um, it won't be affected by um, having that slop in the system. Uh, as the weights are tuned to be relatively light. Vibe 50 tail being used to test for Vibe 90 because the blade grips and the pitch link arms are identical on those so we can actually test the Vibe 90 uh, on the same setup. These are 102 millimeter KB Dream Design blades. We're running at 8600 RPM which is equivalent for about an 1800 RPM head speed on a Vibe 90 and this is with the stock blade bolts. We'll see what the pushrod forces are. We 
for somewhere around 26 uh, one direction, 32 the other. We'll try Chinese weights and see what we get. This is the uh, Vibe 50 tail, but we're testing for Vibe 90 blades because the tail grips and links are the same, identical on both of them. Um, so we have 102 KB Dream Design blades, the same as the previous test, except this time we're using Chinese weights. Pay attention to the tension and compression on the gauge as we go out and come back each direction. You'll see that the uh, on the compression side it'll maintain compression as we back up for a while and the same way on the tension side as we back towards zero from there it will uh, maintain some force. So uh, here we go. Okay, we've uh, effectively cut the force a little bit more than half and still leaving enough force that the push rod is falling back uh, towards zero from either direction. So those are the Vibe 90.